Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is Dolphin today guys. We have a new video about Summoner's World today. We're gonna have a look at how to run a Lagmaron, the Wind Chimera. Uh, Lagmaron got a decent buff, a small buff, but actually made the unit a lot more reliable, more e a lot more easy to build as well. Uh, we're gonna have a look obviously at the stats, what the change was, so the skills as well, and how to run it. Uh, also, how to counter it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have a look at all of it. Uh, if you have any question, as always, ask in the comment below. I'll answer to you. Uh, I'll give you some tips. I use him with Tableau, as you guys know. I love Tableau, uh, but you can use him with many different units. To be honest with you, you don't need Tableau 100% of the time, and uh, you don't need Tableau at all, really. Uh, but yeah, guys, before getting to that, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Why am I talking so fast? Uh, if you haven't already, it's free and support the channel a whole lot. So, guys, if you can, please hit sub button. It really, really helps. Now, uh, let's have a look at Lagmaron uh, Wind Chimera, as we said. Wind Chimera is actually uh, is not built in PV PVE for me. I'll show you my RTA one. Uh, but Wind Chimera is so nice as well because it uh, awakens into speed. So it's a lot easier to build. Um, Different from the other chimeras that have 95 base speed, which is really really bad. Uh, but yeah, let's have a look at the base stats. It's attack type with 11.5k HP, that's really high. A attacks attack is pretty good. 571 defense, it's pretty bad. It's not the worst, but it's pretty bad. 110 speed is actually really really good. So, really good base stats beside the defense, but it's an attack type, so I'm happy with the HP being pretty good already. Uh, so really good base stats as well. Skills. Skill 1 um, does single target and can put a dot on the opponent for one turn. Sometimes it's pretty clutch if there is a Julian on the other side. Uh, if there is a Triana, dot can kill the opponent without popping the passes. So that's pretty good. Um, and the damage increases the enemy HP status decreases. But that's not the main reason why we looking at Lagmaron. Skill 2. The faster the attack speed, the greater the damage becomes and it hits really hard. Uh, attack speed is increased for 2 turns if you get a critical hit. The attack will always land as a critical hit if the target attack speed is lower, slower than yours. And it's on a 2 turn cooldown. And the thing is, um, if you go down a speed buffer like Asher, it's definitely going to be faster than the opponent. It's always going to crit on fire on Douglas, on Kinky, uh, on, on fire units in general, Juno, Juno is a bit tricky, she has the speed buff and you don't, you might not crit on her, but yeah, it's really good. Skill 3 is also pretty good because it offers some CC and also attack break, which is really good against, I mean, Masha usually has immunity on, but if she, if you, let's say you strip it, you can attack break her, you can attack break, um, Dominic, all the damage dealer are gonna do a lot less damage, but yeah, it's an AOE um, and to inflict damage proportional to your attack speed, so meaning we need to build them fast, we can their attack power for two turns and stun them for one turn with a 75% chance. Four turn cooldown, 75% chance of stunning the opponent and attack break for two turns. That's pretty good CC, NHP leader skill for wind unit makes Lagmaron on an add. add or any other wind unit a lot tankier. Uh, I don't usually pick this, but if you don't have any other leader skill, I might, you might as well pick that. This makes Lagmaron a bit harder to kill. Now I'm gonna show you my Lagmaron uh, is built like this. Uh, it doesn't have my best set yet, and I'm gonna explain the crit rate. I mean, you guys know why the crit rate is so low. I mean, he's gonna always crit as long as he's uh, faster than the opponent. Skill 1 doesn't do that much damage. Skill 3 does okay damage, but it's gonna be a lot hard to, harder to build Lagmaron if you go uh, with high crit rate. The only high crit rate, I didn't give him any crit rate, I rather went for stats. He does have my best set, uh, but I am planning on upgrading him. Uh, he's like over 25k HP right now, and he has 2k attack, which is really good, and he's over 300 speed without speed lead. Um, so the runes are like that, is swift broken. Again, I'm tempted to build him a lot better, uh, but for now he's like that. So speed, uh, crit, damage, and attack. You can go HP here, 
it does damage based on HP and on speed anyway. So I might actually try and test it on HP slot 6 if it does the same amount of damage. It's definitely going to increase the damage based on attack though. So you kind of want some good attack on him. Uh, artifacts are on turn cool, uh, crit damage, sorry. So damage dealt on element, cool, uh, crit damage um, as the enemy max HP is lower or higher. Any crit damage line is really good and any um, cool uh, crit damage line is good and any uh, damage dealt on uh, element is good. Skill, uh, sorry, the other artifact is with skill free accuracy. So you actually have uh, 59 accuracy on that, which I think is pretty decent. You might as well take advantage of that. I need to change this into some crit damage line um, but overall, like, skill, skill 2 crit damage is good, skill 3 accuracy is good, on turn crit, crit damage is good. Uh, I'm gonna change this in any crit damage line, uh, but overall you get the, um, the idea on how, what type of artifacts you should put on it. Uh, again, the more attack you have, the more damage it's gonna do, but it's gonna scale off mostly on speed. So you don't really need that much attack. You might put, you might build him a little bit tankier than mine. Uh, but overall, I think Swift is the better way. Also, I want, uh, wanted to build him a little faster because then I can contest speed even with him. I don't need Ashir and another Swift unit. I can have Ashir and him. And if I build him faster, you know, if the opponent is uh, contesting for speed, probably is going to be off wheel. So you can try to go skill free and stun them. Uh, it's risky just in case they are on will, just in case it's a segment and fire, you can glance on her. You're not gonna stun her, of course, but I do wanna build him faster. So the faster it is, the more damage it's gonna do. And Ashir is really good because he's a uh, speed buff on skill two as well. And the higher the, the speed, the more damage he does. So, and also with the speed buff, he's definitely gonna be faster than the opponent. Is definitely gonna crit on anything. He crits on, uh, he crits on Douglas. He crits on Kinky. He crits on Fire if he's faster than the opponent. So it's really good because uh, you have <laughs> you have a unit that can actually um, kill those other units even if he's wind. And also skill two is available every other turn. So you could build him even on balance, speed crit damage, uh, attack, and have him a little bit slower than mine. But you know if he procs, he's gonna have scroll again up next turn uh is a really good unit i think that's more buff actually made a big difference for him because now he actually just crit on everything uh douglas obviously you're gonna be faster than douglas uh kinky you're gonna be faster than kinky if you build him on swift you're gonna be faster than most unit and if you have like let's say ashir or even another speed booster or speed uh speed buffer uh you're gonna be faster than them so you're gonna Crit on fire. I was able to kill Junos, Douglas with him. Uh, really good unit, and I'm enjoying a lot using it. Uh, really nice base stats. So, guys, if you have any question, let me know in the comment below. That's gonna be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye, buddy. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Bye.